can't believe we just blew up Godot's yacht. That's going to destabilize crime throughout this whole sector. Yeah, well, you'll understand if I hold back the tears. You don't understand. Crime in the YouTube system, it's like the economy. Plus the power vacuum. Even if Voga gets up and running again, the system is going to be feeling the effects for years to come. Yeah, well, at least we didn't find that Jedi Master with the weird name. Zez, Kai, whatever it is. Zez Kyle? Um, well, that's not true. I already found him. Actually, he found me first. He hired me to watch out for you, keep Goto off your back, until he could meet with you. We'll need to head back to Narshada, to that safe house off the docks. I said I'd meet up with him there if we ran into any trouble. What do you want now? If you thought to escape my notice so easily, you would be wrong. As a token of my goodwill, I present to you a gift, this droid. It will serve you well on your journey. So, you have returned from exile. Kavar thought you might, if only to wander your old battlegrounds. But I did not think you would come to Nar Shada. Still, you were always a difficult one to read, both when you were tied to the Force, and even more when it was lost to you. I do not know. It was a sense he had, and he had served in war as you had. Perhaps he thought he understood you, or maybe he simply hoped he did. He felt you were the key to understanding the threat we face. The others were not so certain, but so many of them are gone now, as you no doubt know. Uh, he sensed some connection between you and many of the worlds touched by war. He thought by traveling to such places, he could achieve understanding. No doubt. I think the answers will provide us both with some measure of peace. I have kept secrets for far too long. They have scattered, but there is purpose in their movements. It is both to hunt and draw out our enemies. Somehow, they, we, are being targeted through the Force, and when Jedi gather, we are vulnerable. So we have chosen places where it is difficult to sense others through the Force, whether on planets dense with life or touched by war. In such places, we may conceal ourselves, gather information without presenting ourselves as targets. It was part of Kavar's plan. Yes, he felt if our enemy cannot detect us, then perhaps they would believe themselves victorious and show themselves. And we knew that the war would be lost if we continued to act as we had. I do not know where they wander now. There are few of us, though. Too few. And I have not heard from them in some time. Atris, but I had thought she had gone to Qatar with the others. Yes, she holds the last of the Jedi teachings. It is good she survived. I had not finished my investigations here, and I did not wish to reveal myself. There was nothing I could do. It is a long story, but there is no harm in you knowing, and someone should know. Only a handful of us remained after the Jedi Civil War, barely a hundred in number. Then, even that hundred began to vanish, in places where the Force seemed blind. The only pattern we determined is that when Jedi gathered, they were seen no more. At the last Jedi Conclave on the Miraluka world of Qatar, the entire planet was wiped out, an entire race destroyed, because the Jedi chose to gather there. It was only then that we realized we were facing something far more powerful than we knew how to fight. We could not allow the fact that when we gathered, we placed everything around us at risk. A Jedi's life is sacrifice, but we cannot allow our presence or actions to endanger others. And we cannot fight an enemy that will not reveal itself. But any Jedi, anyone who was strong in the Force, who attempted to track down such a threat, vanished without a trace. I know little about it. I know more of the absence it leaves behind than its face. Whatever this threat was, it was targeting us and everything around us. Yet it was somehow weak enough that it was afraid to confront us openly. If it believed us defeated, 
then perhaps it would finally show itself. It was a faint hope, but it was the best we had. It was Kavar's plan. He was always the greatest tactician among us, and had seen war more than the rest of us. Ah, so the records of your trial were found. Good. Sometimes I think this galaxy would be a better place if there were less Jedi secrets. But I have no answer for you, as much as I would like to give one. We vowed never to speak of it. And although I would not keep promises to Jedi, I keep promises I make to others. And Kavar was a friend. If we were gathered as one, then the promise might be revoked. Until then, I can say nothing. Now, now I must take up the role I was ready to cast aside. This threat has finally revealed itself, and we Jedi will need to stand together. I did not speak fully of what I have felt. Staying on Nar Shaddaa, it is an exile of sorts, one that I have chosen. I, too, lost a Padawan on Malachor, not to the battle, but to the alternative, to the teachings that Revan brought from the unknown regions. And I was not the only Jedi Master to watch a student turn on them. No, no, they were not to blame, but many of the Order did so. It was a difficult time, a time of strong emotion. Perhaps the Council, perhaps the Order itself, had grown arrogant in their teachings. It is easy to cast blame, but it is perhaps time the Order accepted responsibility for their teachings and their arrogance and come to recognize that perhaps we are flawed. Not once did I hear one of the Council claim responsibility for Revan, for Exar Kun, for Ulik, for Malak, or for you. Yet, you were the only one who came back from the wars to face our judgment. And rather than attempting to understand why you did what you did, we punished you instead. Our one chance to see where we had gone wrong, and we cast it aside. And now, that decision has come back to us and may carry with it our destruction. Perhaps there is something wrong in us, in our teachings, and though I tried, I could not cause that thought to leave me, so I left the Council. And I was not the only one. That is why many scattered, and why many in the Republic do not trust us, and why we do not trust ourselves. Make no mistake, I am no Jedi. This is the end, you see. After this, there will be nothing, and I think it will be for the best. Do you wish to do battle now? I have nothing more to say. It provides no comfort at all, for reasons in which I still must keep secret. Suffice to say, redemption was not Revan's choice, and I have never believed those of the Council who attempt to console themselves otherwise for the crime they committed. But we have spoken enough, I think, in words I think dull us both. Let us speak through the Force, through sparring. This Yen form should prove appropriate. Its best use is when you are outnumbered, which I fear suits your, our predicament perfectly. You will find it easier to deflect blast of fire with this form, and it shall also guard you against critical strikes by your opponents. Perhaps exile has been good to you indeed, it has certainly not dulled your instincts, nor the speed at which you learn. I shall go to Dantooine, to the ruins of the Enclave. If you gather the others, I will meet you there. And thank you, Exile. Your returning, it is good that you are back among us.